Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Radio Boys Commentary. This is the platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. So the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, it's up and running and we're already seeing the co-host nations already leaving an imprint on the tournament, New Zealand and Australia. New Zealand have never advanced beyond the group stages of a World Cup. So they know something historic could be on the horizon for them. And as far as Australia is concerned, they will look to put behind them the demons of 2019, where they fell at the round of 16 phase of the competition and will be looking to go have an even deeper run in the competition. But in another video, we'll touch as to why that also could be a challenging prospect as well, as they could face the European champions. But more on that in another video. So... The 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, as you'd remember a couple of months ago, we had the 2022 FIFA Men's World Cup in Qatar, and there are numerous players in that tournament that had Jamaican heritage. Have you ever wondered how much players in this tournament have Jamaican heritage? Well, if we're speaking about in an angle of how much players from a sense of, yeah, these players, both Jamaican-born and also players that are born to Jamaican parents, grandparents and the great-grandparents i'm sure you might ask that question and might wonder what that means in particular well the simple answer to that question in particular is that that number in particular is a number that you say wow put it that way that's basically what the number is like but to make a long story short it's 39 names 16 players who are not part of the reggae girls roster and 23 that are part of the Reggae Girls roster. So outside of the Jamaican squad, there are 16 players that are part of different national teams who have Jamaican heritage. That's 39 players overall, which represents 5.3% of all players at the World Cup. So you know what that means? You know what that means? One out of every 20 players at this World Cup have Jamaican heritage. One out of every 20 players you understand what I just said? One out of 20 players. And what we're going to do quite briefly is basically show you who those names are. All right, you guys ready? Well, here we go. Let's start this list off by the goalkeepers. Yanith Bailey, Panama, Parisa Cordoba, Panama. Yes, those two individuals were born to Jamaican grandparents. So we know the history already between Costa Rican names and Panamania, Panama as well. The, the link between Jamaica and these two countries in, in particular. Coastal cities in the Central American countries, Jamaican played a huge role in the development of the Panama Canal, and many Jamaican men and also women settled on the coast of these countries in particular, and also a few in Honduras and Mexico, but more on that in another video. Up next that we're going to look at right now, it's, that's right, the defenders, Khadija Buchanan, both of her parents were born on the island of Jamaica. Yep, that is right. And she is good friends with Tiffany Cameron. They played together for Canada's youth teams growing up. Khadija Buchanan, one of the best players in the world today, born to Jamaican parents. That's right, Khadija Buchanan. Other defenders, Alana Cook and Crystal Dunn. And Xavier Gilbert even revealed that even in youth days, Crystal Dunn was even on the radar for Jamaica as well. So these are two individuals, Alana Cook and Crystal Dunn, playing for the United States, but have Jamaican heritage. Ashley Lawrence, another individual as well, as we go into the midfield options. Jess Carter from England, Marta Cox, Panama, Natalia Mills, Panama, Sheikha Scott, Costa Rica, Catherine Maria, Costa Rica. And now we go to the forward line where there's likes of Diane Rose, Nichelle Prince, both Canadians, but born to Jamaican grandparents and also parents as well lauren james england we know that story as well that she's the sister of reese james carl o'reilly panama and finally linda caicedo and you might say hmm, colombia simon yes 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 colombia is popping up as well with players of jamaican heritage as well my encouragement to you guys is read a book called called love in the time of cholera read the book called Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. It's called Love in the Time of Cholera. You can even watch the movie when you speak, it can, and it will also highlight the Jamaican influence as well during this period of time as well. So you will see exactly why Colombia is in the, in the picture. So what I would tell you guys is down the road, 
don't be surprised if you see surnames of costs of Colombian persons, Lawrence, Clark, Brown, Edwards. Don't be surprised down the road you see that because they're popping up and Jamaicans are leaving an imprint all across the globe. So here we are, 16 names, 16 plus 23 is 39, which means that 5.2% of all players at the World Cup have Jamaican heritage. So what are your thoughts, folks? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me how you feel. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.